Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper and today we're going to be dealing with an issue where our neighbors had a broody hen that was sitting on some eggs that went bad. So how do you deal with a hen who's sitting on eggs and committed to hatching those eggs when there's no chance they're going to hatch because they all failed? What do you do? In this video we're going to show you one option and it's probably the best option. It worked out really good for us, and it was actually the idea of our 10-year-old daughter um, to do this, which when I was exposed to that, I was thinking like, wow, this is, this is amazing, this is genius, this is so smart, I'm glad she thought about it and said something. That's one thing we encourage. You know, we don't exactly let our children run the show and boss us around like some people do. Mom, get me a soda! You know, barking commands that they're parents or something, but we do encourage them to think, to share their ideas, to think outside the box, brainstorm, and come up to solutions, come up with solutions for different issues, and in this case, she nailed it. So enjoy this video, hopefully it'll give you some good food for thought, and like I said, it just happened to work out really well for us. Here's one cool thing about children too, is when they look at the world differently, they think about stuff. Pinky Pepper was talking about sometimes a chick will hatch and you'll give it to a hen, and they don't really have a connection because that chick didn't hatch underneath that hen. So we just talked to our neighbor and said, hey, these are starting to hatch. They're gonna be hatching soon. One's already going. How about if we get some of these under your hen and then she'll actually hatch them out herself. So of course that's a genius, excellent, amazing idea. So we're gonna grab a warm towel Shove four of them in there probably, and then zip up there right now and get them in. And you're skipping the one that's pipped, right? Yes, the one that is pipped is right there. All right, let's go, wrap them up, let's go. Look at that guy, he's a spring peeper. Pseudocris crucifer, that's cool. But here is this hen, she's been waiting here a long time, and so far she's not been able to do anything, probably because her eggs froze. So Pinky's gonna get those under there real quick and help this hen, put them on top of there, and give her an opportunity to hatch them out. Should I take her eggs and under her out? Oh, when you put one in, take one out. Yeah, they're, they're bad. I can feel that. Wow, she can even feel that they're bad. Uh, so we left the one that was pipping in there, just we didn't want to risk that. But all these other ones looked good, so we're thinking this should be exactly what she needs to complete her cycle, you know, of hatching them. And, yeah, give her some encouragement. Then hopefully she'll be laying again and do it again and again. How many did you get? Five? Yeah. Okay. See, like, you can... I call them glass eggs because they sound like glass. Wow. How many eggs do you have? She's probably got a dozen. Oh, yeah, she's got a dozen. They're warm. She's been doing good. Just didn't work out for her. Eggs are pretty. So, the cool thing about this one, too, she's a nice dark black bird and she's a blue egger. So she'll be hatching at least one of those eggs is blue you shove down underneath her, but she won't know no different. You good with that or you gotta try to get out all the bad ones? I'm just gonna make sure. I would just take them all off. So I don't know. Yes. Yeah, that's a good point. We've had exploded ones Ooh. explode right. on a newly hatched chick and help Can you it. hear that noise? You're right, they do sound like glass. Is that all of them? Yep. Okay, mama, you do a good job. I don't know, sometimes you can't smell it, but like if you... Yeah, oh, Hi. shake that a little bit, not too hard. Guys, it's chicken just one. goo in there. Ugh, liquid chicken. I think I saw a vehicle carrying liquid chicken once. Here's an 18 wheeler we saw. <laughs> <laughs> so these eggs are nice and warm, and she's been at it probably 30 days now. But these guys are just, they're just juice inside. Oh, yeah. So they're real stinkers if you crack them open. Um, we've had these explode before, some bad ones on newly hatched chicks that then cause the newly hatched chicks to encourage them to die. So I think Pinky got all these out, put five underneath there for her to hatch, and in the next day or two, she's gonna be freed from kind of her job of hatching these eggs. So with this particular one, because the hen um, was sitting and 21 days is when they're supposed to hatch. 
you know, we only had about another week until the ones in the incubator were going to be hatching. So our neighbor said, you know what, if she'll sit another week, and we figured she would, let's have her waited out. That's why she was still sitting there about 30 days when we finally swapped the eggs, because at that point we knew that the eggs were going to be hatching soon. We didn't really want to risk it earlier than that. We wanted to make sure that the you know eggs were started because if we put in some ones that weren't going to hatch, that wouldn't help her. So once the first one in the incubator started pipping, we said, okay, let's grab some that look good, get them under her. And although it took her an extra week to hatch her eggs because she sat for like 30 days before they started hatching instead of 21, um, we got it done and it worked. And uh, the timing wasn't perfect, but it was still close enough that we were able to pull it off and we were really happy and pleased with that. So guys, it's things like this that just, uh, what a blessing, what a cool thing to see. Um, it's a joy, check this out. So if you can see inside there, you've got that mama, and she not only has the four chicks that she hatched, hey mama, but she actually took 16 other chicks after that. So to have a mom with this good of uh, maternal instincts, be able not just to sit on those eggs that were all dead, but to actually hatch out some, give her that uh, feeling of encouragement, and then to be able to watch her sit on these other ones too, is just amazing. You know, she welcomed them right in. She didn't reject them. It took the chicks longer to figure out what was going on than her. How are you, mama? You're doing good, aren't you? Keeping those little chicks warm? Let's see if we can see some of the chicks. Yeah, so now you can see. So, here you can see this mama, and she not only has the four that she hatched out of those five eggs that we gave her when we took her uh, yucky eggs away. Oh, one's on her back. Oh, that is awesome. Another one's on her back. But then she actually accepted 16 other ones that she was rather um, excited to see. And uh, it took the chicks longer to figure things out than it took her. So obviously this worked out quite a bit different just because we had eggs that were incubating that were able to be given to her and um, you know, it just so happened while she was still sitting on the eggs that were not fertile, these were able to uh, be tucked underneath her and swapped for them. That worked out really well. It doesn't always work out that way. But another thing is if you have a broody hen that's on some good eggs and one that's on some bad eggs, you can always sneak some from the good eggs to the, uh, from the good hen, you know, with the good eggs, under the other one. And that can work out too, so. A happy day for, of course, the people who have this chicken. But a happy day for these chicks, too, because they get a real mama. And then a happy day for her, because she's not just sitting on eggs that aren't working. So if you ever run into a situation like that, hopefully it'll work out as well for you as it has for us here. Um, so cool to see this, and so glad that Pinkie Pepper thought of that idea, too, because it just makes so much sense. And I think that part of her accepting all these other chicks was the fact that she was able to uh, hatch out some on her own. If she hadn't hatched any on her own, you try to shove a chick under her, maybe it'll work, maybe not, but worked out well for us in this situation. We'll see you next time. Pop out. Thank you for watching. Hit the left button. Thumbs up. But well.
Thank you.